So today in this video, we want to talk about Ashoka University and its program for MA Economics entrances. Okay. MA Economics entrances of Ashoka University. Okay. Firstly, we need to understand what was the pattern of the examination in the last year. So in the 2019 examination, Ashoka University gave 50 questions and it was a duration of three hours. Okay. This year, 2020, the examination question mark on hours and question mark on the number of questions also. It's a fair assumption that the number of hours will decrease and the number of questions might actually remain the same or increase. Sir, actually, they gave that uh, 200 hours duration and 40. So, one more thing. So, okay. so, if we know that the duration of the 2020 examination will be two and a half hours and it will be 40 questions have they mentioned so now we'll come to the number of sections and how to tackle the sections so when i take a look at the sample paper the sample paper if we take a look at The first part of the sample paper is statistics and the number of questions that will be coming from this is 10 questions and all the questions are compulsory. Now the standard of the Ashoka statistics, when I take a look at these questions, they will be ISI DSC standard. Okay, so in order to prepare for this, all the EduSure uh, students kindly look at all the statistics part that you have in the study material. Okay, for the others, if you have actually taken a look at the ISI DSC past question papers, uh, that uh, will be, uh, you know, basically preparing you for the statistics part. Okay. Now, if we come into the analytical reasoning part, the reasoning part will also consist of 10 questions and all of them are compulsory. Okay. Now, in this part, please do syllogisms properly. Syllogism is basically a theory to convert a statement into Venn diagram. Statement conversion into Venn diagram and that will convert into some conclusion. Okay. Please do syllogisms properly. This will come hundred percent. It will come in this entrance examination. Okay. Now in order to practice this, how to practice this, please take a look at the inference questions from JNU that will give you practice. Also, there are a few inference questions from the earlier DSC question papers. Earlier basically means that 2008 and before that. Okay. There were a few inference uh, DSC question. If you remember the legislator question, at least uh, one of the legislator cannot uh, be honest. That question, those type of questions also practice. And in the inference question of JNU, if you remember those questions, all Z are W, all W are X, those questions, these are all syllogism questions. These have to be done. Okay. So for all the EduSure uh, students, please take a look at the set theory handout in your mathematics portion. That will give you very good practice for syllogism. Also in the study material, if you take a look at the study material in the mathematics eco masters study material, you again have a set theory 
topic in the set theory topic there are many questions many many questions in the syllogism part okay so do this properly number 1 number 2 analytical reasoning part they are they have also given an english question so they might give you an english question also like uh, the fifth question that is there on the screen this this one as they evolve this an english question okay so here this can be practiced from the english and the reasoning part which is there on the student portal in the study material there is an entire pdf document or a handout okay there are many many questions extremely uh, you know long you know section it is don't take a look at the comprehension part only do the fill in the blanks if you want a last minute practice do the fill in the blanks from this pdf in order to practice for these questions okay also many of you have actually taken uh, the mock tests so the jnu and igidr mock tests would have given you a fair practice in syllogism in this english part and the sixth question which will also show you that this is a this is a conclusion question after you read this what is the conclusion that can be drawn so these questions can also be practiced Uh, from the mock test of jnu and igidr this conclusion question has also been solved in set theory for two or three dsc questions you can uh, go back to the set theory handout take a look at these dsc questions so all in all in order to prepare for section number 2 which is the reasoning part you have to take a look at set theory in the study material of the eco topper and the eco masters okay uh, you have to basically uh, solve and understand the concept of uh, syllogisms properly you have to take a look at the english and the lr portion in the study material and solve the fill in the blanks from the pdf and last but not the least look at the jnu and the igidr mock tests that are available on the student portal and uh, do the reasoning questions from there you don't have to take a look at the long reasoning set that you have an information and you have four or five questions from there you may not uh, take a look at that we have about 24 hours for the test okay so we have to uh, you know prioritize these two things will be on you know priority this will be done if you have the time otherwise kindly skip it okay give at max 2 hours in your preparation to this particular uh, section today maximum 2 hours so section number 2 has to be given about Two hours of preparation today on the lines uh, that I've actually told you. Section number one. Take a look at the probability distribution handout of ISI DSC. That is the most important. Okay, so give section one also maximum two hours. Okay. Now we come to the third section. Section C. economics section c economics will be divided into two parts which is microeconomics and macroeconomics okay microeconomics i can expect it to have 10 questions and uh, macro will have another 10 questions now first let me talk about how to go about microeconomics questions and how to prepare for it microeconomics questions first step of the preparation step of the preparation will be to take a look at isi dsc questions on markets and general equilibrium 
okay so you revise the markets handout and the general equilibrium handout from isi dsc questions this can be easily seen on the student portal under microeconomics eco topper uh, subject okay so uh, take a look at uh, these two under this subject solve all the isi dsc questions relating to these two especially okay this has to be given one hour maximum i'm actually giving you the time also please do not study more than 8 hours today okay maximum 8 hours you have to be absolutely fresh okay so give it an hour another one hour you will also spend on microeconomics now how do you spend that another one hour that one hour has to be given in uh, solving the markets part of part of the intermediate microeconomic workout by varian okay and the general equilibrium intermediate microeconomic workout by varian so this will be about three chapters and this will be about three chapters it will be done in an hour's time because by now all of you know uh, what is the theory of a market all of you know what is the theory of general equilibrium and exchange it will take you one hour please do it and the reason why i'm actually telling you this is if you take a look at question number 7 here section c economics if you take a look at uh, question number 7 please take a look at question number 25.5 from the varian workout this is question number 25.5 from the varian workout and this is the ashoka sample paper okay exactly the same question same is the supply same is the demand okay it is a fair assumption that uh, they may pick up question from the varian workout okay so especially do these you know chapters chapter number uh, 25 of the varian workout please do it okay i hope all of you are actually noting it down do chapter number 25 from the varian workout and if you take a look at the charu question again this monopoly question is also a repetition from the varian workout and this lns local non satiation is also a question from there this charu question the loves apple and hates bananas let me show you this is question number 31.7 just take a look at the utility function here it's absolutely the same question so chapter numbers 25 26 31 these have to be done 100% from the varian workout it is a fair assumption uh, that they might uh, you know repeat Uh, questions from these chapters just see the comparison just take a look at this question and take a look at this questions absolutely the same charu has become a uh, charlotte that is the only difference so do this the varian workout is extremely important okay section 3 and section 4 section 3 is economics 20 questions section 4 is math 20 questions you will have an option between doing this or doing this it is a recommended thing that economics students please do this please all the economics uh, students especially please attempt this 
other stream students may attempt the maths part although i personally believe that if you have actually prepared uh, for these entrance examinations try and attempt section number 3 okay 